how much it sold for and what I paid and where I sourced the item. I've always done it that way and everybody's different. So I'm happy to go into more detail with you guys. I have so many videos planned. So yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been seriously so long since I filmed the video. I think it's been like a year, which is really, really sad, but one of my new year's resolutions was to get back into YouTube. I miss sharing info with you guys about selling on Poshmark and eBay. I miss chatting with you guys in the comments and a lot has changed in my business since I last filmed a video. So if you want like an update video on what's been going on, I would be happy to film one of those. Don't mind my little space heater. I'm currently set up in my garage, so it is cold out here. Um, so yeah, my little space heater, if you hear the background noise. But yes, if you want an updated video on what the heck has been going on with me, let me know. I am gonna do a ship with me video today. Nice. Just to kind of jump back into YouTube. You guys seem to love those before, and I really do love sharing what has sold. So before I ramble for an hour, let's jump right into what sold on eBay this weekend. Um, let's see. One eternity later. <clears throat> January 27th, 28th, and 29th. And I will be showing you what sold on eBay and Poshmark. So let's just jump right into what sold. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly run over a breakdown of my numbers really quick before I tell you guys exactly what sold, how much it sold for, and what I paid, and where I sourced the item. So on eBay, I sold $303.87, and on Poshmark, I sold $133, totaling for the weekend $436.87. Now, keep in mind, I know those numbers are like crazy lower than what they were a year ago when I was on YouTube, but to give you guys kind of an idea of what's been going on, we moved, I think I told you guys I was moving and we were supposed to be building a house that did not happen so we actually moved into our rental so we could get our girls back into the school district that we wanted them in so we've been renting since I last talked to you guys and I kind of just took a break with my eBay business to be 100% honest. I was doing the bare minimum. So that means I was shipping every day and you know, doing any customer service that needed to be done, but I was not listing. I would list some items here and there. I was not sourcing. It was very sporadic. And so my eBay store took a nosedive. And if you are familiar with my channel, I was doing about $10,000 a month before I stopped working. So now my eBay store, is doing about $1,500 a month. Uh, that's a huge change. So I'm here to get it back going and I wanna take you guys along and show you exactly what I do to get my eBay store back up and running. So um, $436.87 is actually great for me. It's been a while since I've had that grade of sales on a weekend. So let's just jump right into what sold. And also don't mind the mess, okay? My office is in my garage now. So I've got my light box, and all of my storage bins, and then I'm currently sitting at my desk. So, yeah. If you guys want a tour of my new office, let me know, because I would be happy to do that. But we are gonna jump right in. Champion t-shirt. This one, don't mind my kids. This one is new with tags, and I got this in a liquidation palette. So I, I told you guys that I hadn't been sourcing um, at all the last like seven or eight months, and that is true, I haven't sourced at all, but to reboot my store, I ordered two palettes. I am currently like a quarter of the way through my first palette, and um, sorry, I'm trying to multitask. <laughs> I'm currently a quarter of the way through my first palette, and my second palette should be here today or tomorrow, but what I'm trying to say is, is I'm back into liquidation. So I was doing liquidation, and then I started dabbling in with the thread up boxes and then I just stopped sourcing altogether. So most of the items that are selling are gonna be from liquidation because they're items that I've just purchased. This shirt sold for $10 and I paid $8 in liquidation. So not a huge profit at all, but I am just happy to get it going, get things moving. Right now I'm really not concerned for what things are selling for. I'm just concerned with getting my eBay store breathing again. That might be my palette right now. All right, so my palette did come <laughs> and now it's freezing in here again. So yeah, second palette is here. I don't even know what we were saying, but I'm back into liquidation, you guys. 
and I am gonna be having a ton of content on liquidation. I know you guys missed that. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So I, I have some great, great things coming up for content liquidation. Liquidation content. So let's try and wrap through this as quick as we can. As we can. You guys, I'm no longer good at like talking to the camera. It's gonna take me some practice. So the next item that sold is this made worn sweatshirt. I got this in liquidation for $14. It sold for $60 plus shipping on eBay. I forgot to mention we were doing eBay first and I am considering sharing with you guys where I get my palettes. I know I've had a bunch of questions in the past um, and I normally don't like to share specific websites, but I'm considering it. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. I have only worked with one actual liquidation company. I haven't had any issues with them. I really love every palette that I've gotten. I do buy customer returns palettes. So I normally get some flawed items in there and some minor flaws like a missing button, sometimes major flaws where I can't even sell the item. So I'm happy to go into more detail with you guys about like the ins and outs of liquidation and the specific company that I use. So Anyways, the next item that sold are these Joe's Jeans Dark Wash, size 28. These sold for $8 plus shipping. I've actually had these for a really long time. I got them in one of those thread up boxes, so I probably paid one to two dollars for these. Joe's Jeans don't actually sell well for me at all. They are very expensive, like $150 jeans, but the resale value for them pre-owned is not good. And even new with tags on eBay and Poshmarks, they, they really don't sell very well at all. The next item that sold is this Free People sweater. This is a cute little fuzzy sweater. I got this in liquidation. I paid $14 and um, yeah, it sold for $35 plus shipping. I do charge shipping on eBay. I've always done it that way and everybody's different oh my gosh the camera is so lopsided i'll get it i'll get a better setup going pretty soon okay i'm sorry a good little profit on this one it was a free people sweater i do love selling free people it was brand new with tag no flaws the next item that sold are these hudson jeans now hudson jeans jeans retail pretty high but the resale value of them kind of sucks these were new with tags missing a button i got these in liquidation and i paid 14 dollars for these they sold for $20 plus shipping. So again, not a huge profit, but like I said, I'm just trying to reassuscitate, resuscitate. I don't, resuscitate? Is that the word? Rehabilitate? I don't know. I'm trying to bring my eBay store back to life. Whatever word that is, leave it in the comments. So I am just accepting pretty much all offers that come through right now until I can get the groove again. My goal is a $10,000 month. That's always been my goal. And I did hit my goal and then I stopped working. So I know that is the beauty of eBay though. You can literally run your business however you want. If your life is crazy right then, you can work around it and you can always bring your store back to life. And that is what I wanna show you guys how to do. If you're interested in what exactly I'm doing to bring my store back to life, let me know and I'll do a video just about that. That would be a good one. The next item that sold is this Free People Crochet Top. It sold for $35 plus shipping. I paid $14 for this item in a liquidation lot. A great little turnaround. And I think it sold in like two days. I just listed that one. The next item that sold is this Tommy Hilfiger striped top. This one had a big flaw. It actually had two large holes in the sleeve. So I listed this one super, super low because it's gonna take someone to mend it and then you're gonna be able to see the flaw even once it's fixed. So this one sold for $5.49, which is totally fine with me. I wasn't, I just, I, I am, ugh. if you're new to my channel, I'm really big on selling flawed items because it just recoups some of your money. As long as you're very descriptive with the flaws of the item and put flaw in the title, people will buy flawed items. It's just how it is. So I actually paid $14 for this item in liquidation. So this is just an example of just recouping some of that money. Don't toss your flawed items. Some of them still will sell. The next item that sold are these seven jeans. 
these were also flawed as well. Now, I can't remember the flaw on these. Either the butt was ripped or there was a massive stain on the back. But these did still sell for $16.49 plus shipping. I paid $8 in liquidation for these jeans. So still a little bit of a profit for a flawed item, which is not bad at all for me. And we are still talking about eBay sales. I will let you know when we switch over to Poshmark sales. There's two magic things to Poshmark I figured out. With eBay, it's just listing. As long as you're listing daily on eBay, you will get sales. Um, but on Poshmark, it's a little different. I feel like I cannot live without Posh or VA and listing daily on Poshmark. If I'm not doing one or the other, then I'm not making as many sales. Just something to think about. If you're interested in Posh or VA, I have a really old video on it, but it is still relevant. I still love it. I get so many sales because of Posh or VA. It is awesome. And as long as I'm listing, Regularly, I'm getting sales. And I like Posh because I get less returns. At least I feel that's what I get. The next item that sold is this Guess Zip Up Jacket. This retailed for $54, but the zipper was completely broken. And it still sold for $10 plus shipping. Not bad at all, you guys. I paid $8 in liquidation. So again, I didn't make much money, but I did recoup some of that cost. Don't toss your flawed items. They still sell. I've said that from day one and I will die on that. Now we're gonna flip over to Poshmark. My total sales on Posh was $133. I only sold five items, so that's not bad at all. The first item that sold is this Arden B chevron dress. This one sold for $14. My earnings were $3.38. I paid a dollar something in a thread up mix box for this item. Um, it took a while to sell, but like I said, only paid a dollar, so a couple dollars profit it all adds up you guys i will sell high end low end whatever i can get my hands on the next item that sold on poshmark was this shorts bundle this is a boys shorts old navy bundle size 4t boys um these were my sons he wore them all summer long and then i just bundled seven pair of shorts into a bundle um kids clothes does really well as long as you're bundling by size and by season that's my recommendation for kids clothes i do have a whole video on my process for selling kids clothes if you're interested go watch that video most of the time i just sell my kids clothes okay sorry guys and i'm just knocking this over you guys my next video will be better i promise Anyway, so this bundle of seven pair of boy shorts sold for $36. My earnings was $28.80. That is awesome. Not bad at all for my son's old shorts. The lighting is really not very good in here, but I am going to get better. Um, I'm going to get a better setup going so that I can film higher quality videos for you guys. I have so many videos planned and I'm very excited to jump back into eBay. I've missed it so much. I was just in such a rut for like seven solid months and I just couldn't get out of it. <laughs> but I'm out of it now. So um, with thanks to my husband, he encouraged me to jump back in. I was honestly considering quitting. I was so mad at myself for hitting my goal and then stopping working and losing what I worked so hard for. So I was just feeling like giving up, but I'm glad to say that I didn't. The next item that sold is this BCBG dress. This is a super, super old item. Um, I sold that one on consignment. It was my mother-in-law's. Um, the payout on that was $1.38. I've had that item for like three years. So we're just glad to see it go to a new home. The next item that sold is this City Studio Sweetheart Neckline Prom Dress. This thing is so gorgeous. It's a size 14. Um, I got this one in liquidation for 14 bucks and it sold very quickly for $50. My payout on Posh was $40. So not a bad profit at all. And I hope whoever bought this dress loves it because it is seriously so pretty. And then the last item that sold on Poshmark is this Gloria Vanderbilt striped button up blouse. This one sold for $21. My payout was $16.80. 
and I paid $8 for this item in liquidation. Keep in mind, this item only retails for about $30, so that is a pretty decent payout for a low ticket item. All right, you guys, that concludes this what sold video. Please let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see next, and I will be happy to film those videos for you guys. So yes, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!